recording this, I take it. Yes, I am recording yes. and streaming okay. at the same time. <laughs> oh, you're already you already started recording. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I man. haven't started recording. No yet. intro. <laughs> no, well, just have a long ass intro uh, and. Uh, Okay, so I'll just look away. <laughs> this, these are two super interesting armies. <laughs> Holy shit. Hold on, hold on. What is going on? Oh, the lag is real. <laughs> okay, I have zero lag here. No, okay, actually the lag is fine. Yeah, lag is fine. No, it, it was <laughs> stuck in the beginning. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, it was kind of stuck for me too. As, that's weird. Um, but yeah, I've started recording. In case you guys wanted, were wondering. But okay. oh my god, what is this this army? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god, this is like be so all crazy. bets are off. Every prediction just went out the window because no, what I the hell is this shit? Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see. What is the this? Four, four spear nobles. Five yes. Celtic youths. A couple of levy frees. No, two chosen spearmen. Uh, what is and this? Six heavy horse. <laughs> what? So this okay, is next level. <laughs> this, this is so weird. This is like this is like Averni trying to be Parthia, but having spear nobles instead of Hoplites. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and having I short range that. skirmishers instead of. Yeah. But I don't like this. I, even this though it looks not cool, gonna go well. Like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't know, but it's six heavy horse though. Six heavy horse. Yeah. yeah. Six, six heavy horse can run, defeat. What, what was he doing? Not bringing old sworn. He could have just replaced the, chosen, the spear nobles with old or something. Okay, so we are in the game. I'll just go over. Uh, we, I'm here with uh, the Prussian prince and blade master. I'm just going to go over the build of Swebi real quick. Two spear levy on each flank, so four in total. Then we have uh, four blood sword, three sword masters in the center. Two uh, noble riders, two riders of the hunt. The general is the sword master Ariovistus, of course, and spear levy. So five spear levy total. Mm, this yeah. is just a clash of two of the weirdest builds I've seen. <laughs> yeah. Like, even I've... with the whole unit ban thing going on, they still brought, like, they, they went over and above. But you know what? I th expected. You know what could be the thing here? These, uh, these uh, Spear Nobles, they have expert charge defense, right? So if yeah. Swebi, if Swebi uses Ariovistus and gets expert charge defense on the all of these units, then all of the damage they do on the charge is going to be reflected mm -hmm. back to them. And that's is that exactly yeah. how it is? Like they, that's exactly how it works. Damage. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. So and they need to be standing still for that. They need to be standing still for that. Absolutely. Yeah. So but wouldn't it be more effective just to charge in with heavy horse anyway? Yes, it would. <laughs> it would. In. But but I mean, <laughs> I don't. Know, maybe he has tested this and found this to be very effective yeah. because units maybe. like the Wolf Warriors, Bloodsorn, are going to destroy themselves if they charge a unit with expert charge defense. <laughs> Swordmasters are not going to do that, but swordmasters can be killed by cycle charging with the heavy horse. So, not to mention the Celtic youths. Yes. All they need to do is mm. just snipe one of those or two of those swordmasters. They can easily do that. Yep. Yeah, if they snipe the general, then. But <laughs> these builds are so weird that I just I have yeah. no idea what's yeah. going on here. Basically, and it it looks kind of like Atheus is kind of like uh, shot himself in the foot by deploying all the way to the right because he doesn't have the space to like outmaneuver yeah. and outflank uh, Ultramarine. Absolutely, <clears throat> Ultramarine is Arvani, by the way, and uh, Atheus is uh, and the way. Um, Swimming. Yeah, the way this is set up, I think it actually favors uh, it favors the heavy horse of uh, Arverni. The single line deployment here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Definitely. the cavalry is on the flank, so there's nothing stopping the heavy horse from just going straight through the front. Especially the, the two heavy horse. Even yes, the here comes Ariovistus, oh, wow. and I think he's just going to stand here and take the Ariovistus. No, he's not. Damn it. Oh, he's going to... Okay. He might... He's not able to kite here. He's, he's too close. He's yeah, way too close. Yeah, he's going to get javelins in his back speed. in... Two seconds. No, he, he has to turn around. Just stood there because uh, I mean, yep. the, the, the extra charge bonus hasn't even been activated. But okay, he's gonna go charge Here it is. with his uh, Oh no, he's oh, charging. Oh this what? Oh oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh, Horrible miss marker there. His general gets hit by the bloodstorm. The heavy horse totally messed up that charge. Yeah. But they did manage to take out the wolf warriors basically. Wolf warriors over there gone. Yep. Riders of the hunt over here, they're not going to do too much. They're going to die to this heavy horse. They don't the heavy horse didn't get a charge, but the second heavy horse unit comes in, gets a charge. Uh, th this, I, I, I'm like, I have no idea what to even say here because yeah. <laughs> this is... Well, 
This is so weird. The Bloods, the Bloods one got a proper charge off onto this uh, Spear Noble General, but still they haven't taken any casualties. Like only it's yep. still 108 units left. Oh, so the general, the Spear Noble General, is uh, attacked in the rear now by, by, uh, by what exactly? Yeah, because he wasn't turned around when he got hit by the uh, Bloodstorm. Yeah, so everything he's been taking has been uh, attacked in the rear. Wow. Yeah, most of the engagements actually. I think Youth's completely mm. not focusing on the Swordmasters and instead just uh, firing at the Noble Riders, I think. Noble Riders and the Riders of the Hunt. Very strange. Uh, I... This is so weird. He should weird. be sniping the gentle. This is, this is some excellent... Uh, like, he can just easily use this to start sniping the Swordmaster general. Oh, the Spear Noble he's, he's firing into the... the he's firing into the Blob instead, killing off his own heavy horse. Exactly. Two. Yeah, definitely a much more valuable unit than, you know... Yeah, uh, riders of the hunt. And there are berserkers directly behind these guys, and the br oh, but the no. riders of the hunt would lose anyway. Yeah, just yeah. Break just here. fire at the yeah. berserkers and get them off the field. Oh, his sword, his spear noble general yeah. is done. His Celtic youths are going down, so this is GG for Swebby. Yeah, this Swebby is, takes it. Yeah, general very, very still fine. Weird. Uh, looks like expert charge defense didn't really play a role here. Yeah, yeah because he didn't really he didn't uh, manage to stop his unit. So he messed up. Yeah, he, yeah, messed yeah, up he was on the bad. move. So it doesn't do anything when the unit is yeah. moving. And it's, he he left his ass open to those bloodsworn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they were like whooping his ass. Like it was com that the pulling back from Ariovistus at that short range was just that is exactly what Swaby wants you to do. Pull away at exactly at because their movement speed is increased. Yeah, in the yeah. Phase. And those very heavy spare infantry, they are not going to be able to outrun medium uh, medium infantry and with the speed crazy, boost. Because, like, Atheus didn't even, uh, he didn't activate his fast charge at the right moment. I think he, he activated a bit too late. Yeah, he did. Because so, if, if uh, Ultramarine just stood there and took the charge, it wouldn't have been like a crazy charge bonus at all. It would have just been the regular charge bonus. Even if he had countercharged, that would have been better, actually. Countercharged yeah, with his heavy horse. He would yes, just spear nobles themselves have an excellent charge yes. bonus. Yes, thirty-two charge bonus. Combine that with a yolo charge from heavy horse. Absolutely, that could have easily taken down this way. And that would have messed with Swebby's uh, timing for sure. Like Swebby wouldn't have been ready for that. Like micro wise. And on top of everything, he used the uh, um, Versen Versen general. He could have just used the intimidate and uh, what's it called the yeah, warrior general. Absolutely, intimidate and war cry. Uh, people people really need to start doing that against Swebby. Just run up, uh, intimidate, and then charge the hell out of Swebby, and Swebby dies. Yeah. I have no idea why you would take working Gatrix against Swebby. It's it's just yeah, yeah. So GG. Oh, spear nobles with 124 double chevron. Not bad. <laughs> for their price. Yeah, for their price, not really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they were up against like what are the units that are dead here, like Bloodsorn early on and crap tier think, units. But yeah, yeah. Th this was a slaughter. This was uh, just a yeah, straight up slaughter. Pretty decisive. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like the, exactly how you don't want to play against uh, Swaby Rush Rush build. Yes. Start running away and then just get a shitload of uh, units. Up like your I can backside. see he had the right intention, kind of by running away, but he was just he started that far too slowly. He, he got more kills than I expected he would actually. Yeah. yeah. But but still, I mean, why 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 the hell did he bring four spear? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so much money down the drain. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just stop yeah, uh, stop this oh. recording now. This was a very interesting, very weird game. Uh, we yeah, just, it's exactly what I wanted to see. Also. Yeah. Yeah. 